Welcome to another episode of Smart Tips. I'm Jeff Gonzalez, and today I'm going to walk you through the different ways that you can represent your subtasks in SmartSuite. Many ways to do it. Today I'm going to highlight just three of the most common ways that I've seen our customers do this extremely well. Let's dive in. The three different approaches that I'm going to explain today are different field types. The first one is our checklist field type. The second is our sub items field type. And the third is a linked record field type linking to another table of subtasks. And I'll explain when each of them work best. I'll start first with the most simplistic, our checklist field type, which allows you to put a line of text in place explaining what needs to be done, an assign to field for explaining who needs to do it, and a due date field explaining when it needs to be done. Very straightforward, but these actually all feature the pieces needed for the system to understand that it's a task. This check box right here clarifies whether it's done or not. Therefore, it will populate here in the My Work section of your SmartSuite workspace, rolling up all tasks across the entire instance. Next is our sub items field type, which allows you to feature additional fields of information for whatever it is that you're looking to track. This is a good example of how you can organize a sub item, right, for representing a subtask. The only limitation here is that we can't actually assign it to somebody because the assign to field isn't supported within our sub items field. However, we can include a smart doc field. We can include date ranges in case you want to explain the range in which it can be done. And we can also include a currency field explaining what was the spend to complete that specific task. You can actually roll this information up using a formula by using the dot notation saying, go ahead and look at the sub items field. And I want you to give me a sum of, in this case, spend or the currency field. So good for reporting at a lower level, right? But you can't actually populate it within the My Work section. So if that's important to you, but you need a little bit more information included than what the checklist field type allows for, then I probably would recommend having a table of subtasks and linking them to, using a linked record, the tasks that it pertains to. This allows you to allocate spend, include everything that you would in a traditional table. It is, however, a bit more complex in terms of the hierarchy. So what I would recommend doing if you are using the subtasks table is grouping by the task value that exists in our linked record. From there, we can look up which project this task is allocated to and then group at a higher level by the project. That way I can see all of the information about the project and then I can dial into the subtasks related to the individual tasks. Cool thing about this setup is it allows us to one, include every single field, two, include things in the My Work section because we can assign it to folks. And then three, we can also use the linked record rollup or formula field to be able to use the dot notation just like we did in our sub items field to roll up the spend or anything else that exists within that subtask record. I hope this is helpful. If you have any ideas for things that we can share in the following weeks, let us know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.